How do you see the dark matter inside your business? The, the, the data that your servers are kicking out that you probably can't look at? Well, we're at a really interesting new company called Splunk to find out. You, you'd have these management systems like Tivoli or CA Unicenter or um, various things like that that would show these dashboards of red, yellow, and green lights. And all the lights are green and a customer calls you up and says, I, I, you know, I'm having a problem. My transactions aren't completing, my, my shopping cart isn't, isn't completing, or whatever, whatever that transaction might be. And the only way that they could find out what was going on is by looking at all the, um, the, the data that was being spewed by the machines. Yeah. And so they, they'd look at the web server logs, they'd call on the web server guy, then they, you know, they didn't find it there, they'd try to narrow it down by timestamp. Finally, finally they'd find, you know, find the problem, but it would take hours and hours and hours. So if you take a look at, well what happened that had to happen when the information revolution came along, you had to invent things like Google, you had to invent web search engines to take care of this volume. Yeah. On the IT space, no one ever built tools for the IT people to deal with this amount of data. So one of the interesting things we found is, is well heck, if web content and content by humans is generated this much, what's going to happen when you get to the IT system? So the light bulb fell off for us and we said, well how about if we build Google for IT data? So of indexing the stuff out there, you index the stuff inside. And there's a couple interesting things. Is like your log files? Everything, just everything, it's, it's beyond logs. So an interesting thing that we, we get, we'll often say we're Google for logs because it's the easiest thing for the light bulb to go off. And you walk in, a minute ago you said, what do you guys do? If you were to say simply, what do you do? Well, Google for logs. That's where we were. We're, we're sort of grown beyond that as a company. But if you talk to IT people, they hated incumbent tools. And you ask them, what tool do you use to, to keep your systems running, to understand your systems, they'd say Google. That's because that's just the whole mindset of sitting down, typing something in, and having something come back. So we said, okay, why don't we go build a, a scalable system that handles the volumes of data that are handled by web you know, uh, search engines and apply that to back-end systems. And the amount of data we eat today, if we hadn't done that, no one can touch us because of the amount of volume we can eat. We can eat, our architecture looks like, like Google. The thing that's amazing about Splunk is, is that we handle data completely unstructured. So in the data center, data changes all the time. When you add, when you upgrade software, when new software is brought online, things happen. The data changes. If you were to try and to you structure run on all the major yeah. infrastructure, Linux, Windows, all of it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're software, not an appliance. Okay. So, um, and and yeah. So the so the nice thing is, is you don't need to structure that data. That data is completely unstructured. And then we apply the structure at search time. So as you use the system more and more, you can build up more and more, more and more intelligence by just finding out what kind of data is in there and then writing writing uh, reports and things like that. Well, let's go back to the Google analogy. This is one that works for me. That it doesn't work for everybody, but it's not just searching for the word error and getting back errors. Yeah. Suppose in Google I could go to Google and say, what's the average price of Pad Thai in San Francisco by zip code over the last six months and get a graph. Yeah. I don't want to write any Java code, I don't want to write any parsers, I don't want to have to do anything. I just basically will walk up to Google and get a chart of pod tie prices by zip code over six months. I'd say Wolfram Alpha probably has a better chance of doing that. But. Exactly. <laughs> well, but, yeah, but Wolfram's over, Wolfram's kind of over here a bit, but it was Splunk, yeah. that's what our value is. It's not just search for the word error, it's the fact that you can take any IT data, and we'll call it unstructured or semi-structured data, and without a schema, come along and report on it and do analytics on it. So I can, I can effectively report on anything inside of my IT data at search time.